Today we're taking a quick look at the Wyvern Link VRX by Emacs. And this has been in the works for some time now and is easily one of the most anticipated products of the entire year. Now it's pretty cool to see manufacturers like Emacs actually bring this protocol to virtually all FPV goggles. So let's open this up and see how it looks. Now the first thing here we have some stickers and an information card with a QR code in the back here. Then we have some antennas here. It looks like a directional antenna here. Besides that you have the VRX itself and this thing here, <laughs> it is very, very small and light. Now it's a lot smaller than I anticipated. Pretty cool, we'll take a close look at that a little bit later. And then over here we have a bag with some hardware. It looks like some screws and bolts here to actually mount this to your goggles. And we have some cables here. It looks like a power cable here. You have a receiving end on here, and then you have two male end connectors. Pretty cool that they're actually including this with the actual VRX, and then one goes to your actual goggles, and the other goes to the VRX. Next, we have a video cable here. It looks like a micro HDMI to mini HDMI, and the mini HDMI goes to your FPV goggles. And then you have a micro HDMI here going to the actual VRX. I really wish it was mini to mini, but at least they include the cable on here so you don't have to source that yourself. And last but not least, we have a RPSMA antenna here for the other side of the VRX. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this Wyvern Link VRX, something that we've been looking for for a while, and Emacs have hinted about this for some time as well. They've actually leaked some videos on their YouTube page for some time. And we've been all waiting for this. This thing, I can't stress how small it is. And that's only because like when you compare this to other VRX in the market, this thing is very, very small. Here's one here by Walksnail. You can see the size difference, guys. It's so much smaller. And here's the one most people wanna see is the one between the run cam here. And this one here is significantly larger. It's so much larger. So have a said, let's weigh these and see how much they weigh. And let's start with arguably the heaviest one, the run cam link here. Man, 121 grams. This one, 120.9. So 121 grams. That is going to be a lot in addition to the weight of your goggles. Then 106 or 107. So this one is a lot lighter. And then all you have is 74.5 grams, 74 grams, guys. 74 and then 120. Holy crap, that's like three times as heavy, almost three times as heavy. So this is gonna add up, guys. This thing being lightweight is gonna make your head a, less, a lot less fatiguing. Hopefully it performs just as well. Hopefully size <laughs> does not matter in this case right here. All right, so let's take a closer look at this one. And the first thing that jumps out here, just like any other VRX is the fan in the center here. Obviously you have a lot of electronics in here and they get pretty hot, so you have a fan in here. Hopefully it's not so loud. Sometimes these fans can get a little distracting, particularly the one here on the Walksnail VRX has a high pitch whine to it. Uh, the one on the Runcam VRX is kind of quiet, but I don't even know if this one here is temperature sensitive or adaptive meaning I don't know if the, uh, the speeds can change based on the temperature of the processor in here, but we'll see once you power this up how loud it gets. Now besides that you have the branding here, Emacs Wyvern Link. You have this case on here. It's no different than the cases on the other. It does feel a little bit thinner than the other cases, but hey, it is also lighter as well. Now on top here you have your two RPSMA connectors. Hold on a second. I just want to make sure that's correct. I said RPSMA, but they're actually SMA connectors. These are actually SMA connectors on here. And that's not bad. A lot of the other VRXs have RPSMAs. I want to say there's probably more SMA connectors or antennas on the FPV market. So you can easily upgrade these. Now, from my past experience, their previous VRX had a very similar antenna setup right here. Maybe identical. But actually, the reason I bring this up is because this one here performed very, very well. But this is what we had in the past, guys. We had to use this and connect to one of our mobile devices, like a smartphone or a tablet, and then connect that to your goggles or a screen or monitor. So it wasn't the most ideal thing. And this gives us the ability to just mount this to our FPV goggles and then you're good to go. But you have two antennas on here. 
uh, is not the same for like the actual run cam version. I don't know if that's gonna be a, uh, a reduction in performance. We'll have to test it in the future. We said that we have some holes in here for ventilation. And then you have like four buttons on here. You have your channel up and down, these, these two right here. Then you have this play button right here. And that's more of a record stop and record start button right here. This has a built-in memory so you can save your actual flight footage on board here. Last but not least, we have this Wi-Fi button on here and that allows you to change between the 20 and 40 megahertz modes, as well as to put the Wi-Fi on on this VRX. You said Wi-Fi. Yes, you can put the Wi-Fi on here, connect this to your mobile device or computer, and you, you can actually change the settings on this VRX. Now you can also connect to the Wi-Fi module on this as well to actually download your actual FPV footage on your built-in DVR. So pretty cool function right here overall. Now on top of it, you also have a mounting solution here to actually mount this to your goggles. Now this one here is specifically made for a Fat Shark style goggles. Now I don't own any Fat Shark goggles. I do have the HD Zero goggles and this is a little bit too small for that. As you can see here on my Runcam VRX, I have the one here for my HD Zero goggles. I might have to transfer this mount to this VRX so it can be compatible with my HD Zero goggles. Now on the back here, you just have a vent here to actually aid in cooling. You, you can see a heat sink right in here. Nothing else on the back here. Now underneath you have a bunch of ports and plugs on the here. And the first thing that jumps out is this USB-C to USB-C plug here to connect the two boards on here. Nice that they actually included this cable in here, but maybe in the next wave of VRXs, they can have this integrated inside of the case here. Now on top of you have this port here. This is the micro HDMI. We have the cable here to go to your goggles and that converts it from micro to mini. And then the right here, you have your USB-C plug here as well to actually update the firmware on this. We have a barrel plug on the side here and that's for your supplied cable right here. Now this VRX here is good between two and six S which is the normal range for most FPV goggles. So no issues there overall. Last but not least, we have an SD card slot on the side. It's a micro SD card slot. And typically that's been used to actually update the firmware on here to change the firmware on this VRX. So you have multiple options, very similar to the one here on the actual Runcam VRX. That's about it guys. This thing here looks pretty good for a first look. I am extremely impressed with this overall. What do you think about this VRX? Have you been waiting for this for a while? Do you think this is the future of FPV? And not just this small VRX, but this protocol as a whole. We've seen a lot of manufacturers making open IPC products. And the fact that DJ is kind of in a limbo at this point, this might be the solution for most FPV pilots. Hopefully this thing here performs. Now talking about performance here, in our next video, I'll be installing the actual VRX. They actually have a new 800 milliwatt VRX I've done a first review and impression on this and I'll leave a link down below and above so you can take a look at it. Now I'll be installing this in my drone and taking this VRX for a test run guys. So if you want to see that video, hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever I do drop that video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.